It's one thing to be the most famous artist in the world, but how about the greatest of all time? This is the level of Picasso's ambition in 1932. Femme à la monde is the Fisher Landau Picasso. It's a beautiful image from this critical moment in Picasso's long practice. For me, it's both a painting profoundly rooted in its moment and also one for all time. Marie Therese, Picasso's young lover, is presented as an enthroned Madonna, and the electric blue of this backdrop recalls the lapis lazuli, the richest of all pigments from Renaissance masterpieces by Botticelli and Raphael and Leonardo. It's almost as if Marie Therese has been recast as a, a modern Mona Lisa, positioning her both at the center of Picasso's own personal cosmos, but also within a long and storied art history. Very unusually, she's shown wearing a watch. But why? Well, one answer would be that the theme of vanitas, the idea that beauty is transitory, that beauty will inevitably die, is a central one throughout Picasso's work. But perhaps the most important function of the watch is that it locates us very specifically in one frozen moment of time. It's Wednesday, the 17th of August, 1932, and it's 4.40 in the afternoon. Picasso has just returned from his first ever retrospective exhibition in Paris. This is a stolen moment. While they've been together for over five years, Picasso's relationship with Marie Therese remains clandestine and hidden at this point. In 1932, finally, she's revealed to the world. Picasso's 1932 exhibition is really the pivotal moment within his career. While she is not explicitly acknowledged, this exhibition is where Marie Therese is revealed to the world looking down from the walls and in a suite of truly extraordinary paintings. With this show, he is painting for history, for posterity, for his legacy, for the museums. He's painting forevermore. Femme à la monde captures this creative climax exquisitely. Within this legendary series, the Fischer Landau Picasso is perhaps the finest work one could ever hope to own. Never is Marie Therese more majestic. She's Picasso's everything. She's the moon, she's the sun, she's literally stopped time. Look at these vibrant primary pigments, the way these sensuous brushstrokes caress the surface of the canvas. This is a work that's erotic, it's succulent, and it reflects Picasso's absolute obsession. At the center of the composition here, we can see him quoting his great rival, Henri Matisse. Matisse's 1931 retrospective, in actual fact, had been the spur that made Picasso, in a show of bravado, organize his own show the following year. At the heart of the composition, we have this green and this grid, which are a clear reference to Matisse and the rich and complex dialogue between the two artists. Just as Femme à la Montre sits at the center of Picasso's production, it also gives a center to the Emily Fisher Landau collection. Fittingly, this is one of the first paintings that she ever acquired, and the many themes we find across the works, form and color, abstraction, figuration, dream and reality, they're all rooted within this one magical image.